Hello and welcome to another Tea Break Talk. Um, we're inside today. It's uh, it's pretty chilly outside. Another frosty one this morning. So um, yeah, we're we're in the warm. <laughs> so, we're uh, still going to be out in the van. Hopefully getting out uh, this weekend. Um, don't know where we'll go, but the van's got a heater, so it doesn't matter. So as long as you've got a diesel heater, then um, yeah, you can get out and uh, still enjoy your vans, no matter what time of year it is, So, which is great. So today, um, wow, we've been, um, we've been waiting for this. This is pretty exciting. We're chuffed um, to um, be showing you these today. So we've got uh, Fanshade's new chair pod, and we are on the lovely chairs, as you can see. Uh, there's one there and one there, and the pod is in the van. So um, as soon as we knew these were coming out, we um, we put an order in for these straight away uh, for both the demo vans that we've got. Um, it's a cracking idea. You, know, you can see uh, the benefit of it straight away, and tucking these uh, chairs up out of the way in what would normally be quite a wasted space behind the back of uh, the tailgate and uh, there's normally a bit of space there uh, it's going to take a bit of planning to make sure your bed's not all the way towards the back of the van uh, to make sure you can fit this in but other than that they um what a what a great place to to tuck a couple of chairs we've all bought those chairs that are a tenner from the local camping site or you know caravanning shops and they last about five minutes they are rubbish and these um particular sort of fold out chairs these these ones they are a little bit difficult to store if you're trying to put them in cupboards that they, they don't fit um or underneath you know your rock and roll bed you might be lucky and find that it, it will fit in there um, but generally these are the sort of style of chair that you want to go for because they are so much stronger they will last you a lot longer and you know they're a bit more comfortable than the you know collapsible chairs that you, you'd normally get for a, a tenner so you do get what you pay for and, and these are nice aluminium uh, chairs with the you know sturdy fold out design and of course the benefit now we've got somewhere to put them that doesn't impede on the space of the van uh, which is what it's all about isn't it you know you're in quite a small space um, you need to maximize that so you can get everything put away um, so these are fantastic um, so let's show you the chair pod and we'll go from there so here we go. Uh, this is the chair pod mounted into the van. As you can see, we've gone for the black plastic one. I think it's probably the closest matching to the carpet. So we may end up carpeting these. I think that would be a possibility just to sort of tie it in a, a little bit more. And, so on. and here is your aperture where the two chairs will slide in. And you can see the depth of it. I think the guys said it's something like 75 mil. So you probably want to leave about 80 mil between the uh, back of the tailgate and your furniture inside. So the great news is, and this is going to be good for all of you self builders and uh, people that have got furniture from van furniture. If you fit the van furniture wardrobe into the back of your van where it is scribed to fit. So along that D pillar, Touch around there, there is plenty of room for the chair pod and that to fit without either fouling on, onto the other one. So that's great news. If you've got van furniture um, interior, then you know that's, that's going to fit. So we fitted the L shape into our van and we've followed the furniture line from the wardrobe across. One, because it just makes it look a lot neater. Uh, and two, we knew we were going to be fitting this uh, chair pod into the van. So we did leave a bit of room and it fits easily. You know, there's, there's plenty of um, space there. It's not snug by any means. We've got a, a good sort of 10 mil plus uh, of space around it. And we'll show you that on the inside of the van uh, once we've shown you what the chairs are like going into the pod. So let's do that. So here we are. This is the chair stored away in the pod at the top there. So they're really lovely, um, nice and discreet. Pull the handle, pull the 
Scesa. That's it. As easy as that. They're a really great design, and I think for, for space saving, this this has got to be the winner. You know, having to put chairs in cupboards it's just wasting space you know and i say it's okay when you've got the those collapsing chairs that go into a bag and they're quite skinny you can get them into uh, cupboards quite easily um but let's be honest they're, they've been pretty poor quality I've, I've not come across a nice one of those yet as soon as you try and pick yourself up using the handles you will bend or break those chairs that they they you know don't take a lot of weight they are just cheap you know we've got some we've used loads over the years they are what they are they're a nice easy accessible very cheap chair that you can take away with you and it does you know compacts down you know that they, they do get into a, a small cupboard space and you can put them under chairs and things of course in, in in your van as in like under the sofas underneath your rock and roll bed so they, they are convenient but they're uncomfortable and they don't tend to last five minutes. So I'm very lucky if we get a season out of one of those chairs. Um, we are using the van a lot, of course, but they're not very good. So these are more robust, uh, definitely the sort of chair that you can rely upon to you know, stay together. And you know, they're, they're comfortable as well. Um, without going to like the massive, great big chairs. I and mean, if you've got a garage area and a big motor home, then yeah, of course, you can have a big, comfortable chair. Um, inflatable chairs are an option, obviously. You know, they will then go down into quite a small packet so you can get them in, into your wardrobe and things. So um, there, there is that. But if you want standard camping chairs, you know, that are good quality and comfortable, then this is what you want. It's just trying to find somewhere to put that and, and that doesn't generally tend to want to fit in that cupboard or underneath there so you know what happens it, it's, it's in the middle of the floor it's sliding from one end of the van to the other as you brake accelerate and go around corners and it's my pet hate you know having stuff on the floor you, you want everything to be put away and as tidy as possible so if you do stop on on your way out when you're going out to your campsite or your you're on your, your way abroad or something like that, and you're doing some good mileage for the day, you want to be able to stop and have a cup of tea, have a sandwich, you know, yes, it's very nice if you can go and use a cafe or something like that, but a lot of the time, you know, for us, if, if we are out in Europe, you're, you're doing some good, you know, some runs out there to, to, to get out towards Germany or further, and there's not always somewhere convenient to stop, but you've got some really nice picnic areas, so to take advantage of that, you want to get into the back of the and turn the kettle on and you don't want to have to de-kit the van before you can then get to the kettle so having these you know accessible but not in the way is is brilliant so and and these just go back in pull that down really nice and easy and molded to fit that shape really nice same with the other one pop that in there Shape fits that really nicely. Pop it in, and that's locked. Two magnets either side, and then your push button catch there will stop that from uh, undoing unnecessarily. And that's it. So if we shut that down, another good point as well is the struts. Um, Fan Chase will send you out some struts with your uh, chair pod. Um, we've already got 1250 struts uh, on ours. The 1250 refers to the Newtons uh, that those struts will hold. Uh, we've got that because of our bike rack on the back. So if you've got a bike rack and upgraded the struts, you're probably okay. You don't necessarily need them. Um, but the chair pod with the weight of the bike carrier on the back is obviously going to need those bigger, heavier struts. So we haven't got a problem with ours. Obviously it's now slower to go up. It's, it's holding its own. I wonder in the fullness of time whether we'll get um, a slightly more upgraded one. We can get some custom ones uh, that perhaps we can get like a, up, up them to a 1500. 
uh, just mainly because we've got the bike rack and the chair pod in there and when the two were you know, being used or you've got the chairs in the chair pod um, and the bike rack on the back there then you might want a little bit more but I don't think that's going to fall down on your head you know the, the struts are holding in um, as far as I can see that, that's, that's going to be pretty decent that's fine um, let's close it all up and we'll show you the gap that was left on the inside of the van once we would fitted that chair pod in so here we are we're in the back of the van and you can see the chair pod if I move the cushion out of the way there's the chair pod and the gap between the chair pod and the wardrobe is plenty absolutely loads and you can see down there we've still got loads of room available for that to to fit in so it's not impeding with our furniture in, in any way so that's really great so that's a massive plus point that we're really happy about one of the little modifications that we've had to do and uh, van shades will tell you that you will need to alter your blind if you've got um, a van shades uh, pod to go uh, with your chair pod and uh, you will find that you know, we've had to just take a little notch of that out there just so we could get the chair pod in and still obviously keep the lovely shade so i think van shades have suggested that you just trim it off down the bottom there we've just cut it out just so you can still access the screw uh for the chair pod if you need um we didn't cut it straight across we just yeah like i said just cut that little notch out and that works fine that works a treat for us it's fitted in their recommended position which uh, gives plenty of clearance on the bottom of the step so the threshold isn't um encounter in the chair pod as you close and open the tailgate so that's fine uh, not had a problem with that and it was pretty simple to fit really so nice what can we say it's just perfect for what we're after you know, nice place to store your chairs out of the way not worried about them being on the floor not worried about having to try and fit them into a uh, cupboard in any way so yeah what a perfect bit of storage that is so we mentioned it earlier, when it comes to fitting the chair pod, you will have to just trim this a little bit if you've got the existing window pod. You will need to just sort of take a little notch out of that or you can just cut it straight across. And you've got to remove your trim panel uh, from the back. You don't want to keep that on at the same time. So if you've got the uh, trim panel on the back of the van, that will need to be removed and your grab handle as well now this van doesn't have the uh, little micro switch to open the tailgate so we've just left that there with the blank in it and um, yeah substitute is the trim panel then for the chair pod which is great so fitting is really nice and easy really simple um, nothing that's going to tax you um, you can do it with just an electric screwdriver uh, you will need uh, an electric one rather than a uh, manual uh, because you'll need to put the, the screws into the metalwork of the van. Um, but other than that, it's um, take your time and uh, it will go on uh, no problem whatsoever. The, the, the most awkward bit is if you've got a window pod already and you've just got to trim that down. If you buy the two together, so if you're buying a window pod and the chair pod as a um, a combined thing from van shades they'll trim the window pod to suit your chair pod so you don't even need to worry about that it's just if you've got an existing window pod that you are now going to add the chair pod to that you will need to trim that so um, but if you get stuck with that uh, and you're not too far away and you fancy us to fit it um, then um, yeah we'll do that for you it's not an issue and I'm sure obviously there are other converters that are going to be local to you that will do the same. So it's it's not hard. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty easy and uh, well worth you know, a, a little bit of your time just to trim that up and make it look nice. So, But as for the actual pod itself, um, what a treat. Yeah, we're um, really pleased to uh, finally get them in, get it in the van and uh, go out and start um, you know, having the benefit of those two nice chairs tucked away in, in a nice convenient spot. So... Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. It does help us out and um, gets us some views. 
and uh, yeah we'll try and bring you some more videos and uh, keep you up to date with what we're up to but in the meantime take care of yourselves we'll see you soon